Our spotlight story tonight is about the Soap Lake Yacht Club, which held its second annual opening day regatta on Saturday. Reporter Cameron Probert was there and has the story. Dozens of people had the chance to enjoy Soap Lake from the top of a kayak Saturday. The Soap Lake Yacht Club held its second opening day regatta, giving visitors and residents a chance to paddle out onto the lake and enjoy the day. Tom Rawls from the Soap Lake Yacht Club said the attendees were able to explore as much of the lake as they wanted. I think it's a free-for-all. Uh, we're not too structured here. We're just letting everybody just kind of have a good time and uh, go and enjoy it. The, the hardy ones, some people have already came from the uh, West Le uh, Beach over there over to here to hook up with everybody and going back and forth, so. The club was renting kayaks and paddle boards for people to paddle out onto the lake. Last year, wind kept the boats on the shore, but the weather was more favorable this year. When the first, when the last year when we started this event, we were going to kayak around the lake and find spots that needed to be addressed for uh, uh, litter and stuff. And uh, of course, with the situation there, the wind and everything last year, that didn't happen. And this year, we didn't promote it that way at all. It's just a uh, opening day of yachting season, like they have in Seattle for the big yachts. So here we are with our big yachts. Rawls said the kayaks work well for the shallow lake. He pointed out if people get tired of paddling, they can walk the kayaks back to the beach. So yeah, they're, they're, it, the lake is quite shallow, so that, that is uh, an option. Uh, and we only rent sit-on-top kayaks and stand-up paddle boards. Uh, the reason we went with the sit-on-tops, if you fall out of it or tip over or something, you don't have to save the boat, it won't sink on you. Like uh, if you had one, you had to get in. Nearby, the club's Commodore, Bonnie Guitar, watched as people came to the event. The 92-year-old performer said there is nothing nicer than being the Commodore. Prep it up right here. Everybody gets together and we have a great time. We talk and visit together. And wonderful people that I've known for years I get to see. I get, like I just got to see them. She was just bringing me some coffee and how nice they are. I mean, they treat me very well. Guitar enjoys the area and the people and doesn't expect to move. She was excited about the possibility of the opening day of boating season on the lake growing. All the things that happen like this, this today is very special because when this grows to have two or three hundred people, think how wonderful that would be on the lake here to have that many people in their, with their paddle boards and their canoes and their kayaks. Can you imagine that? How beautiful that's going to be right here? Saturday's event was the first in a series of boating events planned for the season, Rawls said. The events include a stand-up paddleboard race and a moonlight paddle. For i Fiber one News, this is Cameron Probert reporting. We'll be right back after this.